at Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But, once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle.
castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. archers made short work of the French reinforcements. But if they hoped to ease the burden on Dover's garrison, Willikin's ambush force could not relent. Yes, Alrita, Foliente, Esboa. 
Canada do? Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Men of armies are beaten. Beth not slow. God! Yes, the shulun be
Men of armies, men of armies. Where we go? As the Lord Lord. As the Lord. Rock the army, men. Harkin of Allah. Till then they that break the news. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle. The garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. You go have that he built in and on. Hester, no thank. Come upon. What will Harlinus lead? Yard sewer they had. Harry and they has this new. Harry and they has this new. That sweet thing, yes. What needeth bail every charm and ten death? I'll read them. It kill Harvey that he build in a knot. Swinkerer, the... Yeah, yeah, yes, Clidande ne'er hurt as no one never it down. Pontipotas, Beret. Seek the Hestes. It he'll build a that for thee. What 
need us beyond Don. He can go on block of wood. Boa is a boon. Ich bin still and on. Wow, Sam, chat. Step to the yard, way shed to the man. Go get me to bed. Hearken a thaler. It kill this day that for they. Men of armies, it's so a hessa aliata. It love me. Young, and it's to all a dead man of armies. We're in for an new time. And see it in golden things. Yep, they may have us. It's a worker.
Willikens archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. And Switzerland, yes. It can do. Hestes Kupne and Ferret, our women. Stepeth to it, our women. Hestes and Voliente, Hestes. Intended, Frecus. Voliente, Hestes. There's no 
har du spoleret det hæstet. Fuldstændig tulkes, ikke kan vi du. is Ibun. Who's that sewer they had? And Suiza, yes. Tint windless, there is. Glidande never hurt us, no one never in doubt. On the botas, there is. Glidande never hurt us, no one never in doubt. Tint windless, there is. On the photos, Ferret. Say of sleepily, on the still rest of your arway, periende hestes do. Ye fe me can no do. Hestes cometh. Yarway shed. Entendeth freckers. And Suiza, yes. Nutha, come upon. Frank is hit windless. Better. Frank is hawked. Foliende Hestus. Nutha, come upon. Pierre Hestus. Hestes cometh, our women. Fuse to onti votas, vera. Sewer they had. Sewer they had. Glidande ne'er hurt us, no one never in doubt. Glidande ne'er hurt us, no one never in doubt. of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault.
the tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.